Welcome back guys, it's Maury and today I'm going to show you all of my setups for Killjoy on every single map. Now, if you have played Killjoy for a while, you may already know some setups. However, as you start to climb the ranks, you realize the good players know what your equipment sounds like and they will shoot it out. If they see your molly sitting on the ground, they're going to shoot it. And all of a sudden you lose that setup that you worked so hard to set up. So what I'm going to do today is show you some nifty little spots that you can put things so that your enemies will not see them coming, but you still have the same effect and a world-class setup. Let's dive in. All right, what better way to start this off than with the brand new map, Pearl. And as always, we're gonna start with A-Site first. What I like to do is put my turret right here on top of this little roof. Then from there, I'm gonna put a Nano Swarm right here in the center. I'm gonna put another one right here on the top of these stairs. And basically you would play on site. However, if you'll watch the mini map and we come up here, this is a section right here in mid that can easily be used to flank you effectively, whether you're on B or whether you're on A. So what I like to do is put my alarm bot basically on top of this little spot here because they go down, they crouch under here, go through this sewer to where you spawn and come up behind you. And you know, if you're, you know, sitting basically anywhere in this back section, you know, playing off your turret like so, you know, whether you're playing here, it doesn't really matter. They're gonna come from this way and shoot you in the back. So having the alarm bot set up there really helps you out. I have seen a couple of people try and place it like, you know, here, for example, instead. But then if someone comes through, you know, from the B side, so they go straight through mid, they come through this way and down the drain right there, your alarm bot hasn't told you anything. You know what I mean? Whereas if you've got your turret, still looking from that angle it's going to tell you anyway when to pop your nano swarm so you don't really need to have the alarm bot here i would always put it on that ramp just so you know effectively when they're doing that and then if you know they get a wise to you when they start shooting it out or whatever you could have someone on your team watch that spot instead for retaking a site i like to basically get as close as possible to this corner right down here at the back of the site place it here and then i would just hold the angle waiting for them to come out for the fight rather than you know trying to push up to site because if you die then they're instantly just going to run around and destroy it it's not the best option, but you don't have too many good options on the A site, especially if you're coming from the back of the map, because they're gonna have people pushed up here. They're probably gonna have people watching right here as well. And if anyone pushes out here, you may have a, you know, you may have two people on your team, helps you actually swing. So they're probably not gonna hold this angle as much, and therefore you can get down here, place it here, and then, you know, with, with a second duo, you might peek it, or you might just hold the angle and wait for them to be backed up all the way up to here. For B site, my favorite spot to place this is right here in this corner because it backs them so far off. All of this section here is out of bounds. Most of mid is out of bounds, and they have to go all the way back to this column right here. Now, if they've basically run down here, and they've gone straight for a default plant, which is right here, you know, straight away into the little box plant here. Then they get pushed all the way back up here. They have to go, they can't be on this side. Remember, they have to be all the way over here. It's just like, makes it very difficult for them, especially if you start smoking this off. You know, it just makes it so hard for them to actually see whether you're diffusing, whether you're fake diffusing, all that sort of stuff. So that angle up in the top section there is my favorite when it comes to retaking B. Now for B spot, you've got a number of different options. You can basically place your turret on any of these boxes. You could put it up here, you could put it up here, or you could put it up here. Now, what would you actually do with it? You would place it like this, right? And then effectively play off it. So you can shoot like this, or you can sit back here, shoot like this. So it gives you heaps of different angles. You can also play from here. And the second it fires, you know they're gonna be right here. So you shoot, right? You can place a nano swarm here. So if you're playing up the back here, you can actually basically pop this. If, if they start to rush you, just to hold them off a little bit more, give you a little bit more time to play off one angle without having to worry about anyone flanking behind you. 
And this is default plant. So having a nano swarm right there can certainly help you out as well. And in regards to anyone flanking you again, this is a little bit tricky, but you've got your turret right here who is going to see right here to this point. So I, again, would go and opt to put our alarm bot maybe somewhere here you don't want to get it too far away to the point where it actually turns off but as you can see i'm still in range of turret right now so you don't want to you know go too far across where all of a sudden your equipment starts to cut out like my turret has just done now so you want to make sure that you're pretty much inside the circle when you're placing your alarm bot you could maybe instead of putting it there you could put it here but then if they come from the same issue as last time if they come from A and instead come through this way, let's say they go here and they go, oh, let's rotate to B instead. They start coming up here and they go down behind here. Your alarm bot is not going to catch them at all. For bind and specifically A site, I like to put my turret right here. The reason for that is it can see straight through into showers. It can also see straight through into A main. Then I like to come right here. Wait until the round starts. As the actual shield drops, you can throw your molly straight in here. I'll quickly end game phase so we can see exactly how this would play out. It goes down, you can throw it straight in there. And then as people are pushing up, as you can see, it's right there in the corner. They, they might clear this when they're back here, but then they start to clear the rest of the site and it's right behind them. So it's a really good spot. You can also put an alarm bot right here and you can put another molly here so if you set off this molly they're gonna run straight out there and you put them straight into the other one if you are retaking site i would recommend putting your ultimate right here in this corner specifically because it reaches a decent portion of the map it doesn't reach all the way to showers but it prevents anyone who is hiding in this corner from shooting out your molly molly shooting out your ultimate if you come up here and if you have control of sights maybe someone's already pushed up got a kill from heaven they've pushed into sight i like to put it right here on the tank because then you get a bigger portion of the uh, a site all right for b site one of my favorite setups is to put the turret right here that way it sees straight into hookah and if you're up in hookah you can see this is especially good on pistol round but i do it a lot anyway you can only see the top of it so you know it's actually quite hard especially on pistol round when it's shooting you back so that can be a great spot for it. It also watches long for you. You can put your alarm bot right here. And then you can put one molly here for when they jump straight out. And another one right here. Then from there, you could sit around here, for example. As they push out, the alarm bot goes off. You pop that and you've got the whole surface area if they're jumping out. What you can also do, if I grab my bot back, you can put it up here as a different, let's say it's a different round and you want to mix it up. This will not see them if they're in hookah, but the second they jump down, it will see them. So then if you've got the exact same setup with the uh, the mollies right here, you can set it off and you can pick up a kill that way. Also, while your turret is shooting them, they're slowed, so it's very hard for them to get out. If you're sitting on elbow, you can just peek and shoot off your turret. If you're retaking B site, something I like to do is, let's say you have come from CT this is often smoked out right here this door so what you can actually do is sometimes you can get all the way down to elbow now you do need to do this cautiously because often there will be someone holding elbow but if you can get down here what you can actually do especially if there is a smoke right here which they often smoke off as well you put your turret right here in the corner and then you go and put your ultimate right here this covers the entire site and then what you can do is you just play off the smoke. They're often going to, rather than just backing out of sight altogether, they'll try and rush you and destroy your ult. So you can just play off the smoke. The second they step through the smoke, they're gonna get shot by your turret, especially if you play on an angle like this, then they're gonna swing and shoot at that. The second they do that, you come out and play off your turret. For Ascent and A site specifically, I like to put my turret right up here, and then that's going to watch right through into tree and where people push through from cubby. It's also going to let you know if anyone enters the site. From there, there's a couple different setups that you can do. You can put an alarm bot here, and you can put a molly here, and a molly I like to put like right up near here. So this is where the default plant is, and that way, if anyone enters site, you could be up the back at heaven, behind the wall, and you can still pop these, and it covers a fair distance. There's a little gap right there, but if anyone has run past this point, they're probably running straight up there to plant. 
other than that, for pistol round, I like to put it on top of this box right here, like so. The reason for that is you can basically pull it back quickly while people are trying to shoot it out with the pistol because it takes about six pistol bullets to shoot it out. And if you bring it back, you get a quicker cooldown than if someone destroys it. Additionally, to cover the flank, you can also wait for the round to start, put an alarm bot right here in cubby so you know whether anyone's pushing up that way. And that way, you also don't have to have your turret right here watching that because you've got the alarm bot doing it for you. And then you could rotate back to putting your turret up here again. And then you have the same sort of setup. Again, with the mollies, I would just basically spread them out between here and here because this is the main way that people go. They come straight over here. They close the door, so they're going to be crossing through that. And then you've got this here. Even if you don't get them, they're kind of stuck in this corner, especially if they've closed the door. Just helps you regain a little bit of sight control, while, especially while you're trying to hold four teammates. Retaking A is nice and easy, especially because most teams will close this door. So I like to put it right here because it covers the entire site. And then if they haven't shot that wall out, I can actually just retreat back up here, basically play off it for anyone who's trying to rush to destroy it if they do decide to shoot the door. And the beautiful thing is you'll hear them shooting the door so you'll know that they're coming or you can just come back up to heaven and play this way. But it's going to basically push them back into long and help you regain the site, which is always nice. For B site, I like to put my turret on top of this barrel right here. Same reason as when we were on bind before you only see the top of the turret. It just makes it harder to shoot. I like to put my alarm bot and I bring it back. I'll put it right here because it's harder for people to swing. And then I will put... One right here, and one right here. So that way, as people push out, you've basically covered the entire area. If your turret is shooting them to, they're slowed. Another thing that you can actually do with the turret for a different setup on a different round is to put it right here and have the exact same setup. You know, you, you could move it further down if you wanted to. You could put one here, one there. So as they start to push up and you hear the turret go off, you pop them both same setup that's going to slow them down and they're going to get caught Bob in it for retaking b site the easiest thing to do is actually to rotate through mid especially if you know they're all on site so you come down here and you put your tar uh, you put your ultimate right here in the corner that's because it actually reaches boathouse at the back so if they're in boathouse they actually don't have the time to run all the way out unless they go straight to here and you can just watch that cross they're not going to have enough time to climb the barrels and run all the way to you. So it does put them in a tough spot. If you try and ult from this side, as you can see, it doesn't reach all the boathouse. They'll just walk to the back wall and wait it out. And if you're up here, let's say that they've uh, shut the doors and you're in this room here and you're trying to put it out. Look, you can see the ring on the mini map also only reaches half the site. So easiest thing to do is if you know they have map control and you're going to play off your ult, is rotate through mid like so down through here and then plant it where I showed you before. Moving on to Haven and A site, what I like to do is put my turret right here in this corner. It is going to watch straight across for anyone pushing up through long. From there, what I like to do is put my alarm bot in this corner, put a molly right here. And then I like to play around here. Reason being, if the alarm bot goes off, you can set your molly off straight away. And if the turret goes, that's going to make anyone who is pushing up here, if they were looking at you, they get shot from the left, they instantly do this to shoot the turret. And the second it shoots, I like to step out and go for a kill. So you're swinging off your turret. For retaking A site, I like to go straight in the corner here simply because it covers all of site and it's pretty easy to hold, especially if you've got two or three teammates lined up here who are all trying to enter the site. You don't really have to watch that. All you have to watch is this section right here to make sure no one pushes through mid. But most of the players, if they've already planted, are going to be down long or short. So that gives you a really good chance to get back on site and get control again. For B site, if they keep going B site and you don't want to have anyone watching it, I simply just put my alarm bot here. I don't actually watch this site. It's just to indicate what they're doing. And if you put it on this side, you could be close enough to the alarm bot where it doesn't get turned off. You can put your turret right here and then we can basically have the setup for C site. For retaking B side, I like to come to this window right here and place it. It sits on the window like that. I'm out the back in spawn. And from there, I'll run around to this corner and I'll kind of sit like this because there's this little section right here 
that you can throw a molly straight into before they even get there and pop it and basically they have no choice they either have to go into the molly or they have to get detained and then either way you're going to swing and kill them so it's a good little setup right there if you wanted to just um lock down the whole site and push them out to mid you don't want them pushing you let's say your team's already sitting there and it's just going to be a bloodbath what you can do is kind of just come straight to this corner right here and if you plant it there that's going to cover the corner that you previously left open and you are going to cover all of the site if we come around here as as you can see even if they're on top of the box unless they were very talented and jet and updraft into that corner they're going to get detained on C site, I'll put my turret right where I just did for the B site setup as well. So you're basically setting up for C site any time that you actually do this. And it's going to watch right here to long. It's also going to watch right here to garage. So you're going to know if anyone's coming. Then I'll put my alarm bot if I'm actually sitting on C and I don't have it on B already right here. And then I'll put a molly right here. Sometimes I'll hold onto a molly in case I want to try and yeah, basically use it to retake if you're doing a lineup or something like that you you basically don't have to put two out if you don't want to you could put it off to the side like that instead if you want just to make it a little less obvious where it is and you see it'll cover basically almost the whole way too so it's just a little bit harder to actually get shot if you wanted to you could go one here one here and then you've covered the whole thing so a couple of different options for you there on seaside on C site to retake, we can come to these wooden doors right here. There's two corners. There's this corner and there's this corner. And you want this corner because it doesn't leave any gaps in the back right hand corner. If we come around here, as you can see, it's right there. They actually physically cannot get out of it. Whereas if you put it in the other corner, it kind of comes across here and they could stand right here like this and avoid it. Now on Icebox and A site specifically, I often like to put my turret right here reason for that is it can see this corner specifically so you know when they're coming then i like to sometimes put an alarm bot right here and a nano swarm and a nano swarm so basically a lot of people like to go around this corner it's a really like congested area and as you can see if i pop both here there's nowhere for them to actually go if they're on that they're going to get absolutely toasted another spot that you can put your turret is right here in this window like so and that's gonna watch this it does mean that some people will be able to sneak through here so having the alarm bot in the same spot basically is a really good setup and then i would do the nano swarm in the same spot like so and then you do the exact same thing again basically but your turret is telling you if there's anyone up top Additionally, obviously, the walls start here and start there, so you do need to wait for the round to actually start before you can come up and place your alarm bot and your nano swarms. You could, if you wanted to, place your alarm bot. If I bring it back, you could put it right here like this, and then you could have nano swarm, and I would put a nano swarm closer to the actual default plant and then pop right so. For retaking a site, I personally like to put it in this corner right here because it pushes them so far back on site. They can't hide in this corner. Even if they're up top, their feet are still in and they will get detained. So they basically have to run all the way back to this corner right here or even further back on the right hand side. So it's just a really good thing to get control and it's kind of OP, which is the opposite of B site when we get there. Although Killjoy is often set up as an anchor on a specific site. I actually love playing Killjoy in mid because you can put your turret right here and often this will get smoked off, especially if they're going to run under here and basically push straight through to B. So if they're going mid to B, you can play in kitchen. And what you would do if I bring my alarm bot back, you can put it right here and then you can just play in kitchen and play off the alarm bot. So if the turret shoots, you know they're going mid and then if they've smoked it off and they come straight through, your alarm bot will set it off. And if the, uh, basically if the turret is going off and your alarm bot doesn't go off, there's a good chance that they're actually pushing you through this tunnel and you can sometimes catch them off guard or you could just hold an angle waiting for them. For B side, I like to put my turret right here and this may look like a really weird spot to put your turret, but the reason that I'm doing that is it covers here and it also covers basically anyone who has come from this angle right here so what you can do then is you can put your alarm bot right here in between the boxes so anyone coming this way or this way will trigger that 
And basically that means that you can kind of play right here. So anyone pushing from Snowman would have to basically come across to here to actually shoot you, which your alarm bot's going to tell you, oh my God, there's someone behind you, turn around. Alarm bot, not alarm bot. Your turret is going to tell you that there is someone pushing right behind you, so you should turn around. And if the alarm bot goes off, you can swing. So there's a little, it's not the best setup, but it's kind of the only, you know, decent setup I've seen with Killjoy on this side of the map. As far as retaking B site goes, all of this section right here, you can shoot straight through. So do not put it here because they'll just ping it on the mini map and then shoot it straight through the wall. What I would suggest doing is probably having it in here somewhere. It's not the best because it doesn't get the whole site. It does get all the way up to Snowman though. So you're at least getting all of this back section, which means they either have to basically run all the way across the map or they have to run all the way back to the ramp right here. So you're gonna get anyone detained who might be sitting snowman, but then anyone who is sort of playing back here on this angle, you're still gonna have to watch for. But it at least gives you the opportunity to regain 50% of the site and know that they could only be down basically yellow container or long. So it gives you a really good insight into where to actually look for them. So for Split, it has actually just been taken out of the rotation as of literally today when I'm recording it, but I thought it may be put back in the rotation, you know, in six months time, it may be three months time, it may be two weeks time, who knows? So I'm gonna show you what I would normally do for this map anyway. So hopefully Split comes back to us very soon and then, you know, you can utilize some of this as well. So what I like to do is if I'm up in heaven, I'll put my turret right here. That's gonna watch right through here. And then let's say you've done that a couple of rounds. You could also just put Nano Swarm right here. So the second that someone basically comes up, you can pop this straight away and shoot. And it's gonna clear a fair section of the stairs as well. So basically just pushes them back down the ramp. Now, let's say that you've done that one round and then you wanna use a different setup. Another setup that you could do is put your turret all the way back here. So just like that, and then you can have it basically shooting straight out here. Now what you can do, now that you've set up the turret down the back there, you could set up an alarm bot to tell you specifically when they are actually reaching this point. You put one nano swarm here, one nano swarm right here, which is in a specific spot right on this little T intersection because it covers all of hell. So that way, when you pop both these, they literally, unless they back up, have nowhere to go. And if they've already pushed out to site, this is gonna start shooting them. And then if you hold a nice little off angle like this, basically they're dealing with getting shot by the turret, they're getting slowed and hurt by the nano swarm, and then you're shooting them from here. It's just a very unpleasant thing to do to people. And you guys should feel terrible about it. If you've done that and you wanna do a third setup, I would put my turret up here and you just flip that around put it down like that right so it's going to you're basically cross firing with your own turret so in this scenario rather than having your alarm bot here because you got the turret so close i would have the alarm bot like up the top kind of thing i wouldn't actually put it out there i'd put it on the inside so you actually know if someone's about to swing you but then you can basically cross fire with your turret. So I would hold the angle like this. So you're a little bit closed off. The second the turret starts shooting, they're going to, you know, if they're running out like this, they're gonna turn and do that to the turret. So then if you are holding an angle like this, maybe a little bit further back, and then you step around, you're most likely gonna catch the back of their head as they're shooting your turret. And that's what they deserve to get for back. shooting your turret. My favorite retaking spot for a site is to actually come right down here into screens in this room here in the corner, because it's going to get majority of back of site. And as you can see, there is a little corner right here, but you know that they're gonna run there 90% of the time. If they are on backside or on elbow, they're either going to rush you. So wait a couple seconds. If they don't rush you and they don't come out here, you know they've gone to that corner. So then you can literally just peek it and get the quick kill and they might be They've got to watch two angles because they don't know whether you're going to come this way or they don't know whether you're going to come mid. So that's a really strong angle. If you try and do it from up the top in heaven, it's only going to reach to about this box right here, which means they can just stand back site and basically avoid it pretty quickly. Now for B site, I like to put my turret right here specifically because it can see to here 
and it can see right through to here. So having it on this corner is just a nice little spot. Then from there, I like to actually put my alarm bolt up alarm here, out. put a molly just Jason here in the little crack right there. And then of course, as your alarm bolt goes off, you pop that. I personally, just with where it's set up, find that, you know, if the alarm bot goes off, it goes off about here, right? They've probably already run to here. This one prevents them from backing up. So then I like to throw another one Placing like right here. Grenade. So basically you've got this double setup right here, which is just not very nice to them, but uh, it's great for us. So yeah, I like that setup. For retaking B site, the best spot is alley because you can get right in the corner here, which covers the entire site and half of heaven. So it just gives you a lot of options. There is this little corner right here that they can stand in. So you've got to be aware of that. But otherwise it basically forces them up to garage. And if you're trying to defuse a spike that's planted default, you're going to be in a really nice spot. If they've pushed a garage, you can smoke it off with your team, get someone to hold for you right here, just holding the smoke while you defuse and it puts them in a really bad spot. Alrighty, for the map breeze, what I like to do is throw my molly right here, basically where these bolts are in between. And then I like to throw another one basically on the corner of this right here, a little bit further out. And what that does is basically cut off the default plant. So it either pushes them right out to this corner or it's going to push them out to this corner. And either way, if you're playing up on back site, you can kind of see them. So let's put those there again, just so we can complete the setup. So we throw them there like so. What I like to do then is put my turret up on top of orange, like right here. So what that does is it sees here, it sees here, it sees here here and if they open the doors it'll even see all the way up to here now what i like to do is put an alarm bot here alarm bot put a nano swarm here so they actually will enter from mid they walk past the nano swarm the alarm bot goes off they panic they walk backwards into this as we pop it because our reaction time we see it go off we pop it straight away they're already backing up at that point they'll either then push into sight a little bit weak and kind of a little bit rattled, or they'll push all the way back through to mid, extremely weak. On that setup where I do have the alarm bot and a nano swarm at double doors, obviously we can't have both of these here. So I would not have this one here and I would simply have this one right on the corner to cover the default plant. So it'd look a little something like this. You'd have one there, one there, alarm bot there, and you would still have your turret here. Now you could recall your turret if you want to, and instead you could place it all the way up here. So this can purely just tell you whether people are coming halls. And in this scenario, I would sit on orange box and just basically play for information. So your alarm bot's gonna tell you if they're coming in double doors, you can slow them down with this nano swarm. If they do decide to try and plant and if they're flanking you, their turret is going to tell you. Otherwise, I would play sort of right up here off this. If I was playing the more aggressive one where my turret's sitting here, I'd play here and peek off this. You know, you could peek through mid. You've got a few different options, but with this, you kind of covered from the side. So you really only have to worry about people coming around here. If you're retaking the A site with uh, your ultimate, the best thing that you can actually do is get it right here on this pyramid. Now, a lot of the time when people plant, because it's such a big bomb site to hold, if they push around here, right, and then one person dies right here, all of a sudden the remaining players will often back up into cave to try and just play time, right? And they're just gonna play like this and shoot at the bomb. So what you can do is actually place your ultimate behind this, like so and it's going to push them even further up into caves, not allow them out. If you smoke it off, they actually can't physically, you know, come. they'd have to be all the way back here guessing where you are. It's just a really good way to push them right right back. You can get a teammate coming right up here to try and get an angle. It, uh, it just helps out a lot. Whereas anything else other than that is not as effective because of how big the bomb site is. All right, my favorite setups for B site looks a little something like this. I get my turret. So... Let's go like this, we'll flip it around so it's facing the correct way, put it here. And what it's gonna do is it's not gonna shoot at anyone that comes in the main entrance, but it's watching right here and it's also watching to tell you if someone's planting. From there, put a nano swarm right here. You can put a nano swarm right there, like so. It's basically sitting on default plant where they come and plant here because this is not wall bangable. So your turret is gonna shoot them telling, um, telling you where, the, that where they are. 
And what you can also do is put an alarm bot right here. So this way, you can basically sit back here. Your turret's going to say, hey, they're planting. Pop these. Or your alarm bot's going to say, hey, they're going around elbow. And then you can wait a little bit and then peek, you know, go for a kill like that. If I've already done that and they know the bot's there and it's just kind of obvious what I'm doing now, what I'll do is come and put it right here on this um, on this brick right here so it will watch your contact there. It's also going to watch here. And then I would kind of set up similar. I would put my nano swarm here. I would probably put a nano swarm here as well. And I would put, because they, you can't really see what's happening right here, I would put my alarm bot either still on the corner or maybe down here so you know when they're actually... Some people will run down this way and it'll catch them there. Or some people will run straight across your nano swarm right now and try and come down the stairs to come around to kill you, especially if they know you're playing on the site from previous rounds. So having both of these here is an effective way to kill anyone who is basically standing here, especially if they're trying to plant in this spot instead of the default spot. The best spot for retaking the bomb site is to plant right here because it covers majority of the site, like so. It's going to push them off this corner here, which means you can actually come down this corner to take fights like this. And it just means that their whole team's pushed up into this corner right here, which means you can come out this way, you can come out that way and basically pinch them because they have nowhere else to go but stand in this corner or get off site. And most people won't get off site. They'll just stand in the corner. And now lastly, we have Fracture on A site. We're going to flip our turret around, put it on top of the box like so. We are going to come in the corner here where this line is right here, just with our right hip touching it. We're going to throw it in the corner. You suck. Why can I not make this throw like so? So back it up a little bit from the line and then just aim right where I've got it there. Throw like that. Then you can put one here, basically right on this cross. In low elo, no one's going to notice, but after you start getting a little bit higher, people start shooting it out. So I like to put it here, and I like to put my alarm bot right here. So as people run in, the alarm bot goes off. You can trip this one, trip that one, and that's going to make them typically run straight in here or straight up the stairs. And I like to play right here like this, so you can peek and get the get the kills while they think sight's clear, because, you know, they've basically... They've come along like this. They're looking here. They're looking there. They can't see you because you're behind this pole. And as they run in and they start getting caught, they're going to be looking this way. So you can get a really easy kill just by basically hiding behind the pole on an off angle, waiting for them to push in because you know they're going to run behind cover rather than getting hurt and running out into the open. So it's just sort of, you know, predictable. Another setup that you can do is if you keep your alarm bot, you can put it up top, just so you know basically when people are coming that way. Another spot that you can put it rather than on the step right there is putting it right here in the middle. So whether they come this way or this way, it's going to pick them up. And then you know that they're, oh, okay, they're actually coming dish as well. And if you're standing here and, you know, maybe you're defending someone here, all of a sudden you know you actually have to start paying attention to this as well. For retake, what I like to do is put this right here and it's going to push everyone into the corner of the stairs right here so you can get some nice little shots like so. And if you've got any teammates helping you out, basically everyone gets jammed up in this corner. You could, if you had a nano swarm left over, simply throw and then pop that and then they're in the corner getting absolutely blended while it's going off. So just a little jiggle peek throw and then pop it. For B site, what I like to do is put my turret directly on this wall above the number two. So remember the number two because it makes it easy to know exactly which spot I was putting it on. What the hell is going on? That wasn't supposed to do that. There we go. So now he's up there. And what we are going to do is put one here on the corner like so. We're going to put another one right here on this corner. So basically they're both behind corners making it a little bit harder to shoot. And I'm going to put my alarm box on the stairs like this. As the turret goes off and starts shooting you can do this pushes them straight into the alarm bot and you can go like that also if anyone is pushing through arcade your turret is going to see them and shoot at them as they cross this part they literally can't avoid it so unless they've got a smoke up they're uh, not going to get behind you and if you're playing in tower and you see it shooting and you go hang on there's no one there's no one a main you can start slowly getting ready for maybe an off angle as they come up 
and get a nice little kill that way. Well, there you have it, guys. That was my Killjoy setup for every single map, including the brand new map, Pearl. I hope this really helps you guys out. If it did, consider leaving a like. It really does help me out and help the channel grow. But until next time, guys, keep gaming.